Hello everyone. Today we will be dealing with the semiconductor electronics. We know different solids behave differently to the flow of current. There are three category of materials. They are conductors, semiconductors, and insulators. So, about conductors, these all materials are different. They are different on the basis of their conductivity or resistivity. So, in conductors, the resistivity ranges from 10 raised to minus 2 ohm meter to 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter. For insulators, it range from 10 raised to 10 ohm meter to 10 raised to plus 19 ohm meter. And for semiconductors, the resistivity ranges from 10 raised to 0 to some 10 raised to 5 ohm meter. So in this chapter, we will be primarily dealing with semiconductors. We are going to study the characteristics of semiconductors. So, now we are going to study the category of semiconductors. Category of semiconductors, the semiconductors are of, are of two types. They are elemental semiconductors. So, what do you mean by elemental semiconductors? That is, they are in their elemental state. Like, for example, silicon, germanium, etc. And there are the second set of semiconductors, they are called compound semiconductors. Compound semiconductor means, for example, gallium arsenide is an example of compound semiconductors. Next, we will deal about the band theory of solids. So, what is the concept of band in a solid? Band in a solid. So, children. We know as we have studied in atoms, every nuclei is surrounded by different different energy levels of an electron. So what happens when these thousands of atoms combine together to form a solid? You know, according to Pauli's exclusion principle, no two electrons can have the same quantum number. So every electron is having a difference in their energy level. So, in the case of an atom, sometimes seven electronic levels are there. So, such a type of thousand atoms join together to form a solid. What happens? When we look at the solids, these closely spaced electronic levels of every atom, we will get, when we draw it like this, this is a closely spaced energy levels of every electronic electron levels inside an atom when they are very closely spaced we will get a band so a energy level discrete energy level corresponds to an atom but when this atom combine together to form a solid there are numerous energy levels of electrons lying very close to each other so when we correspond to a solid it is not a single or discrete energy level it is the energy levels they are closely spaced and they are called bands <music> Thank <laughs> you.